Now, I don't know about y'all, but personally, I am tired of seeing men's fashion videos about how to wear this spring, summer, that, when we cannot go anywhere right now. It's kind of frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. So I decided to make a video relevant for now, and what we're gonna do is search for the best sweatpant in the game. I got five different brands for you, ranging from 30 bucks all the way to $155, and we're gonna judge them by the same five criteria. Fit, comfort, materials, details, and price, and we're gonna see if they're actually worth what they say they are. Oh, I'm a pretty man. Oh, that's that ugly style. So as we get into this video, keep in mind that I am 6'1", I'm about 230 pounds, so definitely got a dad bod. I'm usually about a 34 in pants or like a large, and some of these I had to size up in, so I'll let you know as we go through the video, but just wanted to give you a heads up as we get into it. Now coming in at number one, we have Uniqlo. These are their dry stretch sweatpants. They cost $30. I got mine in a size extra large because the large would be a little bit too short for me. It has an elastic waistband with inside facing drawstrings. You have a back pocket and two front pockets that zip closed. It's made of a cotton poly blend fabric that feels super soft to the touch, yet a little technical as well. And with the zip details, makes it feel like something that has a little bit more function to it. Maybe a pant that you could actually go jogging in. Now my first impression of these is that they're very soft, very comfortable. There's plenty of room in the leg, yet they're still tapered down to the ankle, and the length is perfect for me. Usually sweatpants fit me a little bit short, but again, I had to go to an XL in these when I usually wear a large, so definitely keep that in mind if you want them to be a little bit shorter. Maybe you go with the large, but you might be sacrificing some of that extra room I have there in the seat and around the thigh area. Now the only downside I will say, and the reason why I had to return these, is because they look more blue than they look gray. I purposely went out of my way to get a gray sweatpant, so for them to show up looking like they're navy or like a bluish hue was definitely a letdown for me. Coming in at number two, we have ASOS. These are simply called their tapered sweatpant. I got the charcoal gray colorway, and it's gonna run you for about 30 bucks. You have the elastic waistband you would expect with a drawstring, and a bit of that added detail of the metal tips. You got two slant pockets in the front and one pouch pocket in the back, and the fabric is very average sweatpant, like your average champion sweatpant. That's exactly how these feel, which isn't a bad thing, but it doesn't really make them special. But what does make it special is like the tapered look. You see these are much more tapered than the previous pair, and even though I'm not a guy who usually wears sweatpants in public, if you are that kind of guy, these are probably gonna be more tapered for you and look a little bit more put together than like a looser sweatpant. And even though I sized up in these in an XL, okay, I got these in an the extra large, they're still like barely long enough. So if you're a guy with long legs, I'm not sure if these are right for you unless you go to a 2XL, but then it'll be too loose in the waist. But one thing I will give ASOS is consistency in color. I also got this kimono at the same time that I got these. They didn't come as a set, but as you can see, they are spot on in color. So personally, I feel like this whole look is a vibe and it's comfortable and it fits the house. So if you wanna check out either of these, I'll link them down below for you in the description. Now next up, we have Koss. These are their cotton flannel trousers. They're gonna run you for about 99 bucks. You have an elasticated waist there with a drawstring two slant pockets in the front, a pouch pocket in the back. And this material is almost like a linen, except it doesn't wrinkle up as much. So it's very lightweight, definitely something you can wear outside in the summertime, but it also has no stretch. And when I first read that, I thought it would make it feel uncomfortable, but actually it feels fine because as you can see, the cut is straight leg. So it does taper a tiny bit around the ankle because it's elasticated there. But besides that, it's a very loose, just comfortable pant to wear. And very similar to ASOS, they have very consistent color ranges. And they have a matching top that's like a button-up hooded shirt that's also very lightweight. And this is the only sweatpant you're gonna see on this list that I really feel like is a legitimate piece that I can wear in the spring and summer, inside the house and outside the house, in my opinion. Definitely a thumbs up for me all around. I love them, I've been wearing them a ton. And if you wanna check them out, they'll be linked down below in the description. Now coming in at number four, we have All Saints. This is the relaxed track pant, and it's gonna run you for about 150. Now that price tag is definitely a pretty penny, but let me be the first to tell you, this fabric is premium. Each pocket has a high quality thick zipper on there. The tape down each side of the leg is actually leather. Now I'm not sure how practical that is for washing and wearing over time, but if I were to design a luxury sweatpant, it would look like these. But one thing that I'm very disappointed about, after washing these just one time, the hems on the bottom of the pant 
look like this. They didn't take the trouble to actually sew it in permanently, so it just kind of unravels there and it looks really sloppy. But anyway, the fit is fantastic. Everything else is good about these. They do feel very high-end, very luxury. Definitely a bit short for my taste, but again, my inseam's like a 34, so most pants don't fit me long enough in general. And out of all the sweatpants on this entire list, I wear these around the house most. Like the comfort level is unmatched, but 150? I don't know. Now, last but not least on this list, the most premium sweatpant I own is by Raining Champ. These are the slim sweatpants in heavyweight, and they're gonna run you for 155. They have a very basic drawstring, flat lock seams everywhere. You got this nice detail of articulated knee joints that makes them a little bit different. And if you never felt their heavyweight fleece, you need to. This is their signature thing. It's a Canadian fleece originated in Canada to where the inside is really soft, but the outside has like a roughness to it that just feels super manly. And in my opinion, they are worth every penny. Now I will admit I've been a fan of Raining Champ for like four or five years, but didn't get a pair of these till like last year. So definitely take your time, think about it. I would suggest maybe finding a boutique locally when we're out of this quarantine stuff to fill it by hand. But once you feel that fabric and you try it on your body, you're probably gonna fall in love with it like I did. But I did take a minute to think on it, put some money aside and buy it because it is a pretty penny. But anyway, now that I am done, I would love to hear what your final judgment is. From the sweatpants in this video, which one wins for you? I would probably say, honestly, I would probably go with Uniqlo if it wasn't for the bluish color. Raining Champ for me just has sentimental value because I've been a fan for a long time, so that's more of like, oh, I always wanted to get those type of deal. And before I get out of here, let's go over the sneaker of the day, which is the Clearweather Cloud Strike. And these are the same shoes that I put in my last underrated sneakers video, but I traded them out for this colorway. This colorway came out that same weekend, and I was like, yo, I like this a lot better. So that I just exchanged them for this color. If you like them, I'll link them down below for you. And that's really all I got for you in this video. So thank you so much for your time. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.